Welcome to the Gospel Road. We are going to look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. It says, Finally then, brothers, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God, just as you are doing that you do so more and more. For you know what instructions were gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one transgress and wrong his brother in this manner, because the Lord is an avenger. In all these things, as we told you beforehand and solemnly warned you, for God has not called us from impurity, but in holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this, disregards not man, but God, who gives his Holy Spirit to you. Now concerning brotherly love, you need, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. For that indeed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more, and to inspire to live quietly and to mind and to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we instructed you, so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. But this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself would ascend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4. Read this in the English Standard Version. And it's talking about a life pleasing to God. How are you living your life? Are you living a right, just life, a life of holiness, a life of honor? Are you living a life that is pleasing to God? How are you treating not only yourself, your own body, how are you treating others? It tells us in here, brotherly love. Are you loving one another as the Bible tells us to do? Are you living quietly? Are you putting your nose in everybody else's business? You know, the Bible also tells us to take care of the log in your own eye before you worry about the splinter in your brother's eye. There are so many things in the Bible for us to read, for us to learn, for us to understand. And by doing this, we need to make sure that we are living the life that he wants us to live. Encourage one another. That's the entire Bible. If you read from the Old Testament to the New Testament, it's a book of love. The Old Testament is talking about God and his chosen people and the love that he had for them and then how he was going to take care of them and take them to the promised land. That's what you read about throughout the whole, the Old Testament into the kings that were taking care of their people and all the different things that he did for them, but then how many times did they turn their back on him, but he loved them unconditionally. See, we can use that as an example for how we live our lives, for how we love one another 
that we deal with on a daily basis. You know, the Bible says to love your enemy. If someone wrongs you, to pray for them. Don't hold it against them. Don't be bitter towards them. Because God is, as it said in 1 Thessalonians 4, that Lord, the Lord is an avenger. God will take care of those who wrong you. You just need to make sure you're doing what is pleasing to God. You're doing what God is wanting you to do. Living an upright life and treating one another with respect and loving one another unconditionally. That unconditional love that no matter what that other person does, it's that, that love that a parent has for a child. That no matter what, they're always going to be there to help them out. As I always encourage you every week, read this, study it, see what all you can see, because the Bible says to study and show yourself approved. There's so many things in the scripture that you can learn, so many things that you can understand. But you're the one that needs to get in there and find that. And that will grow your relationship with Jesus Christ and draw you closer to God to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship, to have him show you so many things that are in the scripture that unless you are looking, finding, searching, studying, praying, meditating, looking for those answers, you're not going to find. Study to show yourself approved. Ask God questions. He says, I'm here. Ask me. Knock, ask, and search. Knock and the door will be opened. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. First Thessalonians 4. Read this. And, you know, get into a daily routine to read the Bible on a daily basis. And thank you for taking the time and with me on the Gospel Road. And until next time, have a great day, and God bless.